where'd she go? Hello. Today's video is brought to you by Young Fly SS. Did I ever tell you about the time that I stowed away in Santa's sleigh? Santa Claus. It was a bright shining morning, it was Christmas Eve, and my mom had made cinnamon rolls, and we were all happy together at the table, and I decided to spoil it because I was being a brat. And so I had thrown a huge tantrum, and I knocked the cinnamon rolls on the floor, and it made everybody cry, and it burned my mom's hand. So she smacks me, and she says, you're not getting any presents for Christmas at all. I don't care what you do, you're just not getting any presents. And she made me sit in my room, and as I was sitting there, I'm like, fine. I'm gonna get presents anyway, and I'm gonna crook, I'm gonna get out of my bed, and I'm going to find Santa, and I'm going to sneak into his bag, and I'm gonna take all the presents that I want, and nobody can say a thing about it because I'm me. I mean, come on. And so it becomes nighttime, and I sneak out of my bed ever so carefully, and I look through the bars, and sure enough, there's Santa. My face brightens up like this, and I'm so excited. I'm like. Presents! And so I go creep down the stairs ever so slowly like this animal type creature. And so we get downstairs and I hide against the wall and I look out and there Santa chuckling to himself. Ho ho ho! All those griffin kids, they're so cute. Especially that Andrew. I'm like, screw Andrew, he gets everything, I get nothing. I'm like, stupid. And so I very quietly keep creeping up and I see the big bag of presents, and I dive into this bag of presents, and so Santa looks over, and he's like, <laughs> and he doesn't see anything, and so I'm sitting in this bag, and I'm ripping presents apart left and right, <clears throat> and I'm like, awesome! I don't even know what this is, but it's the coolest thing in the world, now it's mine, it's all mine, and then I all of a sudden feel like this jolt. I'm like, uh-oh. And then he's like, okay, I'm all finished now. And he brings up the bag, draws the string, and he yanks us up the chimney, and he flips us back down in the sleigh. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh sh Yeah, I was actually gonna say it. Oh, and I'm like, oh, what am I supposed to do? And so I untie the bag from the top and I look out. And it's like, all right, old dancer, prancer, and vixen, and such the rest of those reindeer. And we fly off really fast. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then we hit this big hole, and we go through, and we smash onto the ground like this, and we stop, and he's like, whoa! And so I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually so cool, I can't believe it! Then things change, because as we're sliding, I look up, and there's barbed wire everywhere. And there's no happy little factory, there's this big tower, and on top of it, there's this little dwarf-type thing that looks like an orc. And he's sitting there with ammunition and gun and his huge gun like this. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And they look like something from Lord of the Rings. I'm like, this this isn't what I thought Santa's world is supposed to look like. And so I keep looking around as they're pulling us into the station. As there's little tiny dwarf orc looking things. And, and Santa's sitting there with a really solemn looking face. And I knew that something was very, very wrong at that point. And there were sleighs that were going by and they had igloos. These portable igloos. And it turns out they were full of ammunition as well. And they grab the reindeer and they shove him away. And then they grab Santa and they sh shove handcuffs on him. I'm like, oh crap, now what? And they said, all right, Santa, it's time for you to come with us. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh crap. And so I'm like, I better keep quiet, I better hide. And so they yank the bag out for these little dwarf type things. And I'm so scared at this point. And, and they open the bag and they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> what have we got here? And I'm like, oh my gosh! I'm like, my name is Erica, and and I my parents told me I wasn't gonna any pr get any presents, and I got really upset, and so I stowed away inside this bag. Please don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! And they're like, well, we are going to take you, you awful little selfish girl, and we're going to feed you to the Santa Beast. Santa Beast? Like, what the heck is a Santa Beast? And so they take me out, and they drag me, and I'm like this. And they have me on my other two feet, and I'm screaming on the top of my lungs, like, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. And they're like, shut up, you awful little child. And they take me and they throw me into this dungeon, and I'm sitting there all cold and I'm shaking with my knees to my chest like this. And I don't understand why it's been so bad and I miss my mom. 
and I was starting to cry and I was so upset all alone and I knew I was gonna die that way and then all of a sudden I heard this big booming voice Whoa! <laughs> and I see as I look up from holding myself in this fetal position it's Santa it is Santa and he comes over and he opens the bars and he kneels down before me and he says well there come I hope you have learned a lesson because you were very, very bad. And so everything falls away. All this horrible barbed wire gates and the orc masks come off, the little elf dudes. And they're the smiling cute little guys and they got big ears like I had just expected. And it was ever so wonderful. And I said, well, we were just trying to teach you a lesson because you were very bad and you can't act that way. And I wiped all the tears away from my eyes and I said, Thank you, Santa. And so he's like, all right, we're going to take you home now. And he takes me and he wraps me up in his robe and it was, and I hugged him and he was so soft and plush, just as you imagine Santa to be. And we get in his sleigh and he gives me hot chocolate and cookies and we fly back and I crawl into bed and I fall asleep. So that was the time that I stowed away in Santa's sleigh. Hopefully it wasn't too long, you know? Okay, bye.